2000, and with me right now is the coolest co-host ever. Give it up for the lovely Lucy! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. That's How that's you doing You look good. good today, Lucy, but then again, you always look good. As usual. Oh, of so course. You, David. Beautiful, beautiful man. You look great. You ready to go? Yes, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's meet our contestants. First up, we got Natalia. How are you doing today? I'm great. Good. Tell Hi, us about Natalia. yourself. I'm in the seventh grade. I love to dance, go shopping, and hang out with my friends and family. All right, sounds cool. Uh, cool, man. Well, good to have you here today. Good luck. And next up, we got Julia. How are you? Fine. Good. Yeah. Tell us about you. Well, I'm in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. I like to dance, read books, and I like to bike around the neighborhood. All right, sounds yeah. fun. Yeah, some in the house. I'm telling you. Good luck to you today, Julia. And finally, we have Carl. Carl, how are you, bud? Fine. Good. Tell us about Carl. yourself. I, um, I'm in the seventh grade. I like to play basketball. I like to um, rollerblade. I like to I ride a bike around the neighborhood. Bunch of bike riders today. Oh, yeah. Well, good luck to you. Good to have you here. Here's how we play the game. Real simple. Spin the wheel. You pick a letter. The letters of the puzzle, you get the points. When you solve the puzzle, that's when you get to keep your points. And you get a great prize. Now, the points are important because the person with the most points at the end gets to go on to the big bonus round. All right? Here's the oh, wheel. That sounds good. Today. Yeah. Shoots and letters. That's our physical game. That's our first big spot on the wheel. We also have www.wheel2000.com. That's our website. Which any of you guys at home, you can hit anytime you want to. Today, if you guys land on it, you get 750 points if you get a letter in the puzzle and a lucky emailer gets a chance to win with you. We've also got our loser spot. You hit the loser spot, you get the big L, and we have big to skip L. you. And finally, we got the big creature beneath the wheel. Be very careful of the creature. You land on that, he comes up, grabs all your points, and you lose your turn. It's no fun. All right. To tell you, you won our coin toss backstage. That means you get to go first. So you get to choose from our three categories that my good pal Lucy's going to show to us right now. Here you go. All right. It adds up. Globetrotter. And bright ideas. Bing! Well, I think I'm going to go for it adds up. Okay. It adds up. Good choice. Let's go start the puzzle. Spin that wheel. Three fifty. Um, is there an L? No, there's no L. No L. Oh. Julia, give it a spin. Come on, Julia. There it is. Shoots and letters. That's our physical game. Come on, let's go. All right, come on, Julia, right over here. This one's called shoots and letters. Here's how it works. We give you fifteen seconds to start. And now I'm going to ask you three questions. They're worth 15 seconds, and the idea is to get as much time as you can. Okay. Okay, they're true or false. You ready? Yeah. First one. Water contains oxygen. True or false? False. I'm sorry, that one was true. Oh. All right, the second one. President Clinton's middle name is Jefferson. True or false? False. That's true, too. It is. Oh. And finally, the planet Mercury is the farthest from the sun. True false. or false? False. That one's right. Good job, Julia. Now yeah. that means you get 30 seconds to play the game, and here's how the game works. You take this ball right here, you drop it in the chute up there. When it gets to this spot right here, you have to predict what color it's going to land in. Red, yellow, or blue. Okay. Each time you predict correctly, you get a letter from our randomizer over there, shuffling up the letters. It's going to freeze. You can see if that goes back in the puzzle after the game. You get more balls from the bucket right over there, and you have a chance to get up to three letters. All right. Ready to go? Yeah. All right, heading over to the chute. On your mark. Hang on, Julia. We're going to have 30 seconds on the clock. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on, Julia. Oh, she got excited. Red, yellow, blue. Here it comes. What do you think? Go. Whoa. She got
that first one you got a great bounce and you ended up getting one letter from our randomizer. It's an F. Let's go back and see how it fits in the puzzle. Okay. Good job, Julie. Now, you know how it works. You can take that F, stick it in the puzzle, or you can choose, spin the wheel, and choose your own letter. What do you want to do? I'll put it in the puzzle. She wants that F. I'm sorry, Julia. No F. Oh, no Fs. Whoo, all that running around and no Fs. <laughs> Good job, Julia. Carl, your spin. Oh, 250, Carl. Um, is there a... A, no, is there a T? T, yes, there's one T. One T. Mm. Good job, very nice. You have 250, that's enough to buy a vowel, or you can spin. Or spin. Go right ahead. Good choice, first letter, you're thinking it out. Categories, it adds up, and we've hit oh. our double. Carl, this one's worth 500, and if you get this question correct, it's going to be worth 1,000. Here is your question. What kind of triangle has all three sides of the same length? What triangle has all three sides the same length? A, a rhombus, B, an isosceles, or C, an equilateral? C. C is correct, Carl. Yeah. Good job. That means if you correct Carl. Carl. Over here, you get 1,000 points. Pick one. A R. Yes, there are two R's. Two R's. That means 2,000 more points. Takes you up to 2,250. Do you want to buy a vowel or do you want to spin? I want to spin. Okay. Good job, Carl. I bet you he likes math, huh? Carl, Mr. Double Up. 150, Carl. An M. Yes, one M. Okay, it adds up as a category. You got 2,400. What do you think? I want to buy a vowel. Which vowel? An O. No, no. No O. Sorry, Carl. Natalia, back to you. Natalia. Come on, Natalia. Remember. It adds up. Looks like the big points. No, oh, just five. short. 250. Is there a B? No. No Tough B one. either. Julia, back to you. Come on, Julia. <laughs> and you got Just missed our prize box. That's 600. Okay, can I have a P? Yes, one P. <laughs> okay. Julia, that sound means all we have left are vowels. Do you want to buy some or do you want to solve it? Can I have... I'll buy one. Okay. Um, can I have an I? Yes, there's one I, Julia. I think she knows it. All right, okay. did that help you? Yeah, can I solve it? You got it. Perimeter. Perimeter's correct. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Well done. Talk to us about the perimeter, Luce. Here's Carrie Strong, the Olympic gold medal gymnast. Let's see her flip over this factoid. Thanks, Lucy. The perimeter is the outer boundary of an area. To calculate the perimeter of any object, just measure all around the outside edges and add up all the measurements. Geometry high time here today on Wheel 2000. Julia, since you knew your perimeter, you just won a color TV with remote control. Yeah! Good job, all right. You win that awesome prize, but you get to keep your 350 points as we go along in the game, and you guys come back to see what happens the rest of the game here on Wheel 2000. All right, it's time for some more Wheel 2000. We're moving on to puzzle number two. Now, you guys know the person with the most points gets to go on to the bonus round. And we have a good chance for some big points here with our 2,000-point spot on the wheel. Yeah. Julie, it's our second puzzle. That means you get to choose from our three categories. We have two unused ones and one new one. Miss Lucy, can we see them? Absolutely. Mmm, do I smell book soup, glove mm. chatter, and bright ideas? Mm. Can I have book soup? Okay. It smells so good, she wants to take it. Yeah, here we go. There it is. Spin the wheel. Go, go, go. Go, Five, 
50. All right, can I have an R? Yes, one R! Uh -huh. Okay, that's enough to buy a vowel, or you can spin and keep on going. Um, I'll spin. Okay. Got it. Good choice. You almost stuck her with that decision there, David. <laughs> There it is! Big boy! Yeah! Two thousand! Pick a good one! Okay, can I have a T? <gasps> no! Oh, no T! Sorry, Julia. Carl, give it a spin! Oh, Two thousand! It's a good one. There it is again! Oh, Carl! Mr. Double Up! They're making Carl work! Mr. Double Up! All right. Here's your question. Many mo modern poems do not have a regular meter or rhyme scheme and are written in what's called a poem that's not written in regular meter or rhyme sch scheme is called what? Huh. Free verse is what we were looking that's for. Hard, it's called David. free verse. That's okay. You're still playing for 500 points. Pick us a letter. P? Yes, one P. Good job. <laughs> nice job. That's plenty to buy a vowel where you can spin. Or spin. You got okay. it. Okay, here we go. He's thinking it out, Lucy. That's right. Okay, there's a pattern here. When he gets the double up right, he doesn't get the letter right. And when he gets the double up wrong, he gets the letter. And 200. An N? Yes, there's one N. <laughs> Nice job. Now you got 700. Buy a vowel or spin? I want to spin. Come on, go right ahead. 250. M? No! No M. Sorry, Carl. Natalia. Let's get Come something on, going here, girl. It's time for you to get some points on the board. What do you think? Be careful. No! No! Woo, good yeah. job, 650. Is there an L? Yes, there are two L's. Two L's. Oh, 1,300, that's enough to buy a vowel or you can spin it. Um, I'll buy a vowel. Is there an A? Yes, Natalia, there's three A's. Wow. Oh, Great purchase. Um, I'll spin. Okay. A girl after my own heart, she can stop me. 250, Natalia. Is there an F? No. Neither. It's cold already. Julia, it's back to you. Oh, Julia. Come on, Julia. Oh, All right. Oh, cool. Good job. You hit our website. That means you're playing for the 750 points, and we got a lucky emailer playing at home. Lucy, who do we got? Okay, our lucky gal is Andrea Smith from Auburndale, Florida. And Julia, if you get this letter right, she's going to win a Wheel 2000 t-shirt and hat. All right. Pick a letter for both of you. Okay, can I have a D? Yes, there's one D. Yeah, Andrea. Good job. 750 for here. you and a cool outfit for our emailer. Okay. You got 1300 What do you want to do? I'll spin. Okay. okay. Yeah. She was thinking about she buying. Knows it. She was thinking, Lucy. Yes, she was. Hmm. 250, Julia. Okay, can I have a G? Yes, there's one G. I was like, mm. All right, you know what that sound means? There's only vowels left. You got 1550. What do you want to do? I'm going to guess. Go for it. Edgar Allan Poe. That is yeah. Yeah. Scary man. Oh, the scary man. Poe was born in 1809 and was an American short story writer, poet, and a critic. His short story, The Murder in the Rue Moore, is considered the first modern detective story. Dun, 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 dun. Very yeah. nice, Lucy. Thank you for the sound effects. Well, yeah, for, knowing, for knowing Edgar Allan Poe, you just won a water theme park family season pass. Yeah. Yeah. points and we'll be back to see what happens right after this.
Okay, it's time for puzzle number three. Carl, Natalia, still no points yet. Julia's hogging them all. She's got 1,900. Good job. There's a good chance for you guys to pick up some big points, though, in this third puzzle, because we've got the 5,000 point spot on the wheel. Yeah. Remember, the person with the most points at the end of the puzzles gets to go on to the bonus round. Carl, it's the third puzzle. That means you're picking from our categories. We've got two old ones and one new one. Show them Lucy. Well, we have word rap in the house, globe trotters, and bright ideas. Which one do you like, Carl? Globe trotters. Okay. He's going for globe trotters. Spin the wheel. Let's go. Come on, Carl. Carl. S. No. No S's. No S's. Natalia. Come on, Natalia. Good thing. Nice job. Yeah. She's going to get some points on the board. Here's your first shot with 250. Is there an N? Yes. There's one N. Yeah. Nice job. That's 250 points. Oh. That sound means that we're out of time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give the wheel one final spin. I'm going to ask you all to give me a letter. After on, I do David. that, you then have five seconds to solve the puzzle. Vowels are worth nothing, and consonants are worth, of Come course, on. double yeah. up. They're worth 500, okay? Consonants are going to be worth 500. Natalia, it's your guess. Pick a letter. Uh, is there an R? Yes, there's one R. You have five, five seconds of categories, Globetrotters. Julia. Can I have a P? Yes, there's one P. P. Five seconds. Globe trotter. Carl. Is there a C? Yes, one C. C. Over there. Categories globe trotter. Five seconds. Pinocchio? That's not it. Natalia. Is there a G? Nope. No G's. Julia. Can I have a V? Yes, one V, Julia. V. Okay. okay. Five seconds. Province. That yeah! is correct. Yeah! 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 Lady Province today. Woo, all right, Lucy. Talk to us about the province. Canada has ten areas called provinces that are a lot like our state. And two huge northern regions called territories. Did you know that about 90% of Canada's people live within 200 miles of the United States borders? Won't you be my neighbor? Very nice, Lucy. Gotta love those Canadian neighbors up to the north. Well, since you knew what a province was, Julie, you just won a 35-millimeter camera with a big, fat power zoom lens. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Way to go. All right, let's take a look at the scores today. Carl, no points today, but thanks a lot for playing. We got some great stuff for you. It was really good having you. Natalia, Julia Ogdemal, nice job today. Thanks, no points for you either, but we got cool stuff for you too. And Julia, our point hog and prize hog, you did so good today. You got the camera, you got the water theme park passes, you got the color TV, and the best thing of all, you get to go on to the bonus round. You guys come back and check it out right here. Julie, it's time for the bonus round. Pick your prize, A or B. She's going with B. Lucy, show us the category. Here you go. It's place. Okay, you know how it works. We're going to give you R-S-T-L-N-E. Lucy? Well, there's no R's, there's no S's, but there's one T, one L, one N, and that's it. No E's. Wow. Now, you get to pick three consonants and one vowel. What do you like, Julia? Um, I'll take an H. A, um, P, and a G, and an A. Okay. okay. I can give you one H, no P, no G, and two A's. Okay. It's a place you have ten seconds. Talk it out. Thailand. Thailand! Yeah! Yeah! There it is! It's a brand new big 